Hi students, welcome back to the class. The last class we have discussed about what yes the size and shape of the cell and the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. Yes, you know about the cell. What is cell? Cell is a fundamental structural and functional unit of all living organism. That is what cell. And you know you know the size of the cell also. What is the size of the cell? Three micrometer to 30 micrometer this is the average size of the cell and you know that the size uh, shape of the cell all the uh, cells are not a same sh uh, shape it is the varying why it is depending upon the function okay so you know a little bit about cell so you want to know that the structure of a cell what is the structure of cell that is our basic unit building block of our body see This is the structure of a cell. One structure, a structure of a cell. Okay, it is the animal cell. Okay, see, there is some hair-like structures that is known as what cilia, and this blue that is a lysosome, and other is suicide bag and centrioles, microtubules, Golgi apparatus, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and this is that what this is nuclear membrane outer this full it is nucleus, and the center one nucleolus, and this is this uh are chromatin and this uh, small daughter that is ribosome and this outer covering that is cell membrane and this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum this is the mitochondrion see this is the one structure of a cell okay so we are going to discussing about what the structure of a cell see the a typical cell consisting main three parts a typical cell consisting main three parts first is the cell membrane see the cell membrane is the outer part and next is the cytoplasm this cytoplasm that is this blue jelly like substance that is what cytoplasm and the center one this is what nucleus okay so these are the main three uh, parts of the cell clear so comes to our topic the first topic is the word cell membrane or plasma membrane the detailed structure of the cell membrane was studied only the after the advent of the electron microscope in 1950s an improved model of the cell structure cell structure means cell membrane was proposed by singer and nicholson in 1972 it is widely accepted as fluid mosaic model. This is the fluid mosaic model. See, mm, yes, so this one is a fluid mosaic model. And this cell membrane that is composed of lipids and proteins. See, these are the lipids. It is a bilayer. Okay, lipids are bilayer. It is 40% each. And this is the proteins. This is the integral protein. What is a Integ integral protein? These are so proteins. Okay, these proteins are 52% each in the cell membrane. So the cell membrane that forms the outer covering of the each cell. It is a living, thin, delicate and semi-permeable membrane. Okay. It has fine spores. Okay. That helps to entry and exit of molecules. So the function, main function of cell membrane is the it controls the entry and exit of materials in and out of the cell. It allows only the selective substance to pass through it. That's why it is also known as selective permeable membrane. Okay. And it provides protection to the internal contents of the cells. It provides protection to the internal contents of the cell, which means you know that the cell having internal contents. See, these are the internal contents. Okay, so these all things are protected to this cell membrane. In case of plant cell. There is no cell membrane or plasma membrane. It is a cell wall. It is the addition of plasma membrane. It forms what cell wall. It is uh, non-living. It is 
non living thing and that made up of complex carbohydrate that is known as cellulose i hope all are hear this word this cellulose yes this cellulose that is a complex carbohydrate okay the cell wall that provide mechanical support protection and the rigidity of the plant cell so next we are discussing about cytoplasm what cytoplasm cytoplasm is the it is the in between the uh, plasma membrane and nuclear membrane see this is a plasma membrane or cell membrane or between uh, what nuclear membrane that is what cytoplasm okay cytoplasm is a in between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane that is what cytoplasm it is a jelly like substance it contains variety of small structures that is known as cell organelles so this uh, uh, lysosomes centrioles microtubules called the apparatus and uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes chromatin nucleus these all things um, and mitochondria especially that these all things are what that is cell organelles okay and these each are carrying different functions different reactions okay and other inclusions such as stored age products such as fats uh, lipids proteins etc what is the main component of the cytoplasm okay it is 90 here it is 90 percentage of water many chemical reactions are take place here cytoplasm is a physical basis of all metabolic activities various cell organelles perform specific functions in it i give you one example you know the egg egg is a cell it is a eukaryotic cell okay so you take one egg so this outer covering of the egg that is what it is a cell membrane that is cell membrane or plasma membrane that is in our shell okay what we are removed uh, and inside it is that a jelly like substance is there water like yes that is what cytoplasm okay that is cytoplasm so all the cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm clear and next you knows that inside it is a yellow color that is yolk what is yolk that is what nucleus yes so we are going to discussing about the next topic that is nucleus what nucleus Uh, it is the most prominent cell organ in the cell okay and it was discovered by robert brown who robert brown it is usually spherical or oval in shape see this nucleus is a brain of the cell it to control the all the reactions have occur in the cell okay nucleus is a brain of the cell it regulate the all function of functions of the cell like your brain you know that in your brain that control the all body functions yes so here in our cell the cell what the nucleus it is a brain of the cell it control the all functions occur in the inside the cell okay and the nucleus is made of two parts nuclear membrane or nucleoplasm okay this nucleoplasm that's containing nucleolus and chromatin materials or chromosomes nucleoplasm that's containing nucleolus and chromatin materials or nucleoplasm see this one this is a, a nuclear uh, envelope or nuclear membrane this outer covering okay and inside it this what a nucleo this is the inside that is a what nucleoplasm and this nucleoplasm that's uh, consisting what yes chromatin materials these are the chromatin materials and this blue dark blue this is what nucleolus okay so this nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope that surrounded the nucleus it is permeable in nature see there is yellow yellow spots that is small pores okay just like in our cell membrane 
so this small pores of the nuclear membrane that is known as what nuclear pores next is nucleoplasm is spherical body present inside the nuclear envelope that is what nucleoplasm it is contain chromatin materials and nucleolus so this is the nucleolus what nucleolus this spherical structure present inside the nucleoplasm that is what nucleolus and this is not bounded by any membrane it is rich in protein and rna and it produce what ribosome okay what is the full form of rna yes that's right ribonucleic acid next is these chromatin materials these are just like thread like structure okay thread like intervened mass of chromosome and this is composed of genetic substance dna rna and proteins so what is the full form of dna deoxy ribonucleic acid rna ribonucleic acid it is a dividing cell the dna is highly condensed into so this thread like structure that is known as what chromosome but it other times it spread throughout the nucleus as chromatin okay this is our composition of the thread like structure that is what chromosome and it is spread out through the um, nucleus that is what chromatin the chromosome contain basic hereditary units called genes genes are responsible for the transmission of characters to the parents to offspring okay you know that sometimes your mummy told you uh, told you you are behave like your fa father other is your grandmother with your grandfather other is somebody told what you are behave you are look like your mother and your uh, eyes are you like mother and the lip and the face like that so how they will give, how you will give that one it is transferred to parent your father uh, your uh, parent gene to your body okay so some characters we will get from our parent okay you want to see the main three parts of uh, a cell that means a, uh, that means a cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus in practically and before i told that the egg in case of egg yes take one egg and boil it okay just uh, give to time for cooling after take that okay and you knows that the uh, outer egg having what one shell that is what cell membrane or plasma membrane remove that okay and you will get that white part you will say that's protein yes see that white that is before uh, before boiling that is jelly like substance okay so that that is colorless okay so that is what cytoplasm so after boiling you will get that is white hard one so that is what cytoplasm all the cell organelles are present in there okay so all the chemical reactions are occur in the cytoplasm okay and cell organelles we are not able to see okay and next inside that white uh, yellow color mm, yellow color yolk is there that is what nucleus so just remove that white color part and after just take that nucleus and just see outer um, outer just remove that there is one outer envelope is there very very thin envelope and that is also having what uh, plasma membrane like spores okay like a pores so see just remove that that is what huh? nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane and inside it is that is yellow color that is what it is a nucleoplasm and again outer light is lightish yellow color and inside it is dark yellow color that is what nucleolus okay and just remove a uh, cut this yolk in centrally and see the inside there is small just a pit like there is a uh, liquid like is there that is chromatin material so take one egg and boil it and observe this okay 
i hope all of you understood this topic yes so